All right, so I wanted to start a short series about the platforms used for saddle hunting. It's the time of year, I think people start thinking about deer season in the fall and upgrades and different things they might want to try in the fall. Uh, I know this is the time of year it was when I bought a saddle, I bought sticks, I bought all the stuff getting ready for the fall and kind of started preparing for that because um, it is expensive. So, uh, you know, you kind of want to do it early as you get going. But platforms, there's a lot of them out there, um, and I want to look at various ones, pros and cons of each. Uh, today, to start it off, the most popular platform, in my opinion, that's out there on the market, the one that's probably used by the most people, the Tethered Predator XL. So this is the, the bigger one, it's not the smaller Predator, but uh, the Predator XL. It's a big platform, it's got a lot of foot space on it. Um, it has around, this is not exact, but around 125 square inches of foot space. So that's, that's pretty big. Um, you can, you can, it's probably the biggest one on the market, truth be known. Uh, it is a heavy platform. This one comes in um, at 4.3 pounds, a little over 4 pounds. Um, you can get rid of some of that weight. And uh, that's one of the things that I would recommend in, the, in an upgrade, if you will, is getting rid of this cam buckle, because this is pretty heavy, um, and going to a daisy chain. And then with a daisy chain, you just wrap it around, you know, loop it in here, seat it down, and then cam it over. Uh, and then you cut a lot of weight and you cut the noise that you get when you throw this around or it hits or bounces or whatever and you know the woods get emptied. So um, Predator XL is a, is a good, big, comfy platform it is just heavy at over four pounds there's a lot of them out there now that's getting it's all about getting lighter and lighter and lighter um, and there's definitely some upgrades you could do again with the daisy chain this one uh, needs to have the you need to wrap paracord around here there's a certain wrap you do that'll silence uh, you know hitting stuff on the edges with this uh, and then the other thing is adding some stealth strip here to where it hits on this part right here or you could wrap paracord here because when you get done and you go it's loud so you need some kind of a stealth strip or paracord here where it's going to contact that to cut down on some of that noise. Um, the other you know, problem uh, with the Predator is packing it out. Because it is so big and so heavy and bulky, it can be hard to pack into the woods. Um, so for example, like this pack, I've got straps around here and I can run them over it to it, but it's so heavy it pulls the pack back like that. Uh, they make a little backpack for it, and when I used this platform exclusively, I used the little pack and the shoulder straps that Tethered sells, uh, and then off of that I attached other things, which, which worked great. The only problem was um, you didn't have a ton of space. So um, that is a negative to that, I guess. Um, I would advise putting on a little bit of paracord here so you can attach it to your saddle for when you're climbing up. Um, stealth stripping as much as you can. This one hasn't even been painted. It comes raw. Um, I camouflaged most of mine and, and it's, it looked really good. But uh, the Predator is a good platform. It's a good introductory platform. Even if you've been saddle hunting for a while, it's, it's a great platform to keep using. It's just heavy. So if you don't have a problem hauling the weight out with this, um, by all means keep using it because uh, it, it is a good platform. But if you're looking to get lighter, there are some others out there. Let's go get it on a tree, shoot from it a little bit, see how stable it feels shooting at some different angles and, and how easy it is to set up on the tree. All right, the old Predator XL. Big old heavy boat anchor with a lot of platform to stand on. Let's get up in the tree with it, see how she, sh how she shoots, how she stands, how she bites into the tree. Um, if I was getting this into the tree, I'd have this strapped on the back of my saddle climbing up and then just reaching back, pulling it off, and then getting on the tree. All right. So I'm at my top stick, I'll reach back and grab this Predator, and it is heavy. It is pulling my saddle down as I climb. It's simple enough. <clears throat> You're just gonna go around the tree. Keep it out of your bow rope would be step one. <clears throat> Loop this onto that. Get my slack picked up. Cinch this bar all the way to the tree. And then I'll just cam this over once I get it nice and tight. The flatter you can have this strap, the better. All right, now we'll just cam her over. 
seems to be biting good. Clipped into the tether. And this is kind of a common problem with, with these. And I don't know if it's just the way I do it or other people, but this top part coming away from the tree. Um, I could hang from my tether, stand on this, flip the bottom up, stand on this part, and try to get it to bite back down, but not much on that either, so. All right, so as far as the platform goes, ton of room, you can, whoop, other than that, because it doesn't, the top's not bit down very good, you're gonna see some shifting. So I've got a ton of room, I can go all around it. Um, it's got a lot of play in it, and that's because I can't get this top part to bite down, and I can't tell you how many days I spent in the woods like this where I couldn't get the top part to bite. And you just got a ton of room. I mean, you feel safe because your feet are, your, all of your foot is basically contacting it. So it's a good platform, lots of good room. It's loud, it's my one of my big complaints. Let's shoot from it. As I suspect, it'll be very secure shooting from it because it is so big. safe up here on this platform I and mean, it's so big <clears throat> you, you really feel confident in your shots because your feet are sturdy steady on the ground all right predator xl tethered predator xl platform um, it's a good solid platform it's been around a long time been used by a lot of people um, Tethered's a good company, so I think they always treat their customers right. So I would not hesitate to buy this. However, I think there are options that might be a little lighter and a little better fitting, especially if you've been saddle hunting for a little while. And maybe you're used to sitting in a tree all day uh, and you don't need this giant platform that weighs you know, nearly five pounds to, uh, to actually be in the stand all day and feel comfortable or shoot without your feet being planted firmly on a platform. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you. If you're first time, this is a great one. It's affordable, it's like 200 bucks, maybe a little more. So it comes in at a, a good price, um, kind of for an entry level platform. Um, if you've been hunting for a while, maybe you're looking to upgrade and you're looking to go lighter, this probably ain't the one for you. Um, I'd advise some of the other ones, uh, but it is a great starter one. It's a great one just, even if you're just hunting for a while and you're not having a problem hauling out a little extra weight. If you don't mind the weight, this is a good platform, great platform. Um, so it's just something to think about, something kind of individualized. Um, I've hunted out of this a lot. I've killed deer out of this. It's a good platform. Um, check it out. If you're still sticking around, like, subscribe. It helps out a bunch. There'll be more stuff like this coming as we get closer to deer season. Thank you.